Hi folks, Stan Griffin, pastor of the Cornerstone Baptist Church in Exeter. Last time we were together, we looked at our 1980 Skidoo Citation 4500. What a wonderful piece of equipment here. I'm telling you, you could be the proud owner of this particular um, instrument of fun. And what I'd like to offer you is an opportunity to own this one-of-a-kind snowmobile piece of fun. And if you'd like it, if you'd like to restore it, you too could have a video in the Garage Talk showing this beautiful, restored seat included. So that's what we talked about last time. And uh, today I want to show you my service van. <music> Do you ever feel like you're beating your head against the wall? Like nothing you're doing is working? Everything's going wrong? The government tells you to sit at home on the couch to save the world? Is that bizarre or what? I grew up where John Wayne came in, fighting in the Pacific or on, I mean, he's, He's getting his guns and he's saying, let's go get them, boys. Let's ride off and conquer something. And maybe he didn't say that, but it seemed like it. And here we are, stuck in the garage, looking for projects, trying not to meet anybody. Don't breathe on anyone. Obviously, don't touch your wife, whatever you do, you know? So I'm out here taking the stickers off my old service van. This was a part in my life where I was beating my head against the wall and wondering, just 32 years later, I was tired of it. So we've taken the stickers off and I'll do something different with the van. But it's no longer what it was. It's got a new life now. Oh, for a new life. We're sitting at home going stir crazy, and honestly, are you thinking, does my life make sense? Is this right? Is this virus that's shutting us down, is this real? And uh, I know you don't want me to over-spiritualize stuff, and I understand that, but the reality of it is, is there's a virus in every one of us that's killing us, it's called sin, and sin separates us from the Lord, and he made you, he loves you, he's crazy about you, and he wants a relationship with you, but we've got all these other things that we were so busy doing, running here, running there, doing stuff, and the Lord says, you know what, I'm going to stop that. I'm going to make you sit down. I'm going to separate you from all your friends. Maybe it's time for a new start. The Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. For this vein, old things are passing away. And maybe if you fear life, old things need to pass away. Are you beating your head against the wall? Are you wondering if your life makes sense? I'm telling you what makes sense is recognizing that there's a God in heaven that loves us, and he wants a personal relationship with us. And if you talk to him about that and say, Lord, I give you my life. Reletter it, whatever you want it to be. I want a new start with you. If you do that, I'm telling you, you're no longer beating your head against the wall. You're getting a new life in Christ. And it's tremendous, as my brother would say. Shout out to my cousin Al. It's his birthday today, April 1st. Happy birthday, Al. I hope your life is going well. I hope everybody that's watching this, your life is going well. And if it's not, perhaps God's trying to get your attention so that he can rearrange the events of your life to honor and glorify him. I highly recommend it. See you in church on Sunday, I hope.